Hello friends and greetings from the municipality of Grindavik from Iceland. That's where I was today at the new lava field as you see and I took a chance to take my drone in the air to show you the lava road and the new lava how it looks today. There are lots of people there every day, many tourists coming to visit it. I will also inform you about the ongoing volcanic development in this area, what they are expecting and what is likely to happen. So this is how we look at today. You see people are walking over the lava to take pictures. It's quite exciting to see this new guest, an uninvited guest from the Montel who arrived here just a month ago. Brand new lava. Most of people have never seen it and it's a unique experience to see it, especially in a place where a lava spill it over the road. But let's take a look at the latest update from Icelandic Met Office and what they say. Today they published a new article on Icelandic Met Office website about the probable sequence of events in this area. The volume of magma and the Svartsengi, precisely in this area where we are flying, continues to increase, which could end up with a new magma flow, it means intrusion or even an eruption. Note that they, now they are saying a new magma flow, they don't say an eruption, but first they use the term new magma flow, it means intrusion with no eruption, and option two, even an eruption. Uh, an eruption could start at a very short notice, even less than 30 minutes. An eruption is most likely to occur in the area between Stora Skogfet in Hagafet Mountain along Sunnukur um, crater. Seismic activity at the magma tunnel has been decreasing since Saturday, March 2nd, especially in the last few days. Where, if, where few earthquakes have been recorded. In fact, I just check it now, the earthquakes, um, and we didn't have any single earthquake along Sunuka Ginger Crater, where we saw the eruptions before. In the past 12 hours, there was none in that area, but there had been some small earthquakes west of Grindavik. Uh, uh, close to Hangit Volcano in the vicinity of Reykjavik and at Trotladingia uh, Monogetic Volcano close to Mount Kaler there uh, we saw some earthquakes as well uh, in the past 24 hours also at Barthar Pungar uh, at Vatnajökull Glacier in the interior part of earthquakes there was earthquake magnitude 2 or 3 but those earthquakes are rather regular through Iceland of that size, they happen every day, so they don't say anything. Uh, such small earthquakes, we would need to see some stronger ones to tell that would tell us of some event to happen, and quite a few of them in a row. And what they say else, expansion continues under Swartzengi, it means land rise and model calculations based on GPS data from 3rd to 6th of March show, shows that 1.2 million cubic meters of magma have been added to the magma chamber they use uh, uh, name word chamber not a cell but it's Google Translate so perhaps I don't know what was the original Icelandic word because they use Google Translate to read to you uh, this day. So 1.2 million cubic meters of magma have been added to the magma chamber at Svartsengi these days. So in total more than 10 million cubic meters of magma have accumulated in the magma chamber. The situation is therefore similar as it was before the magma run on March 2nd. Uh, the level of danger has not changed since the last event. It should be also noted that it now it takes much longer time for the magma to 
reached 10 million cubic meters then back in November more than double as much so if in back in November uh, we saw uh, 10 million cubic meters in some 11 days now it takes 26 days for the magma to reach uh, the same level of volume the last eruption had been also shorter in time and produced less magma comparing to the December one so overall Svartsengi volcano is losing its momentum and is slowing down it's hard to say when we will see the next volcanic eruption or how big it will be but most likely it will be smaller than the february event if magma ever makes it to the surface perhaps february eruption was the last one and we will never see eruption here again at least in our lifetime as it had been the case with Grindavik in the past uh, 1000 years since Iceland had been settled. So it's only God knows what is going to happen next. In the meantime, Blue Lagoon remains open. I have seen also cars driving to Grindavik. There are checkpoints, but they let the vehicles drive through those who have permits. And this is how the lava road uh, look at today. You see the tourists uh, driving over it. I wish you a pleasant day, peace and blessings from Iceland, God bless.